Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to another video. So today we will be tidying up a lot of animal figures, okay, from my collection. Check this out. So we have a bunch of like farm animals, dogs and cats, um, some insects, some cows, some deers. So we need to pack them all up. Inside this box, you can also find some, you know, Takara Tomi figures as well, which we are going to put them into our Takara Tomi box collection. So we need to tidy all this up together, okay? So let's do it. Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? So the first one right here is actually a warm bed. So I'm gonna put this into what we call like, you know, the mixed wild animals box, okay? Um, this is basically a goat. So um, we need to have a farm animals collection. So this will go into that box. Um, the pig will definitely go into the farm animals one as well. Kangaroo, it can actually go into the farm animals box, but I think we can actually put this in um, you know, the wild exotic animals box. This it's a Guernsey car, so into the farm animals collection as well. Dingo, I think this is like an Australian dog, so I'm gonna put this in the exotic animals box. Do we have any Takara Tomi figures? I think we should have like plenty of um Takara Tomi minifigures. Like, you know, for example, one of one of this. This is like a um elephant calf you know a very young elephant so this one will go into this box that we have just created like two days ago platypus this one is quite a small little figure so into the um, exotic animals box um birds we don't have many birds in our collections hence we are actually sharing a box with the farm animals okay so similarly to this albatross it will go inside you know the farm animals uh, with the birds this one as well, Macaw. A what is what is this actually? Blue Macaw, beautiful one. Okay, I think this kangaroo was actually. Uh, we got this like quite recently. Um, one of our viewers sent this to us, Jeremiah, I think. Okay, I put this in the box. Arctic fox. This is a really beautiful um figure. Okay, Komodi bear into the exotic box as well. Um. Yeah, for this box right here, this one, we'll be putting some of the insects because we don't have, you know, many insects. So, you know, dragonfly will go into the box. So yeah, we got this like recently. So we're trying to expand our insect collections. Um, another one, which is the um, ladybug. Okay, ladybird, I beg your pardon. Another kangaroo. Okay. And here we actually have a mandrill. Okay, so mandrill always go into the um, exotic animals box. This it's basically a main wolf. Okay, so it's like the tallest, tallest canine species out there. Yeah, it's the tallest dog. Here we have a hoisten cow. So this one is quite a new figure. Peacock will definitely go into the um, farm animals collection as well. Okay, so let's move on and take a look at the others. Pangolin, we have quite a number of pangolins in our um, collection. In fact, pangolins is actually one of my most favorite animals. This is a pig, so it's, a, it's actually known as a sow. Sow, sow, sow. Um, I think it's known as um, sow, if I'm not wrong, the pronunciation. And um, this, it's a spider monkey. Yeah, spider monkey would go into um, the exotic animals box. Similarly to um, koala, we have plenty of like, you know, mini sea animal figurines. Um, this will not go into an, any of the boxes here. So they will actually go into, um, you know, the sea animals collection. So I'm just gonna pick them up and put them aside. Okay, and here we have a Sumatran Rhino. Oops, yep. So this one will go into the um, exotic animals box as well. Gibbon, I think one of our, I think Jeremiah actually suggested that we can do a primates collection. I think that would be cool because we do have Gibbon, we do have um, Spider Monkey, we also have like Proboscis Monkey as well. So we definitely have quite a number of, um, 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 you know, primates to take a look at. And here we have a Great Dane. I'm not too sure whether all our dogs are actually in here. I think so. So the Great Dane is over here. So this is actually a new figure that we have just, you know, collected. And um, we have a German Shepherd puppy. Very, very adorable looking. Okay. And this, it's a Pygmy Hippo. Okay. All right. 
Bactrian camel, Bactrian camel over here, platypus. So you, you can see this box is like, I think it's gonna be the one of the fullest box that you can find. Um, a great white, and um, this is a humpback whale. This is a manatee. So all these little sea animals, I'm gonna put them aside first. Um, a koala and a baby koala, very very adorable. Um, tapir, okay. Panda, plenty of pandas in our collection actually. Okay, it's all given to us by one of our fans. Yep. And this, it's a watch hawk, I think. If I'm not wrong, this is a coyote. Yep. This is known as a hyacinth parrot. Hyacinth parrot. Okay. All right. And we have a tarantula spider. Oh, this is actually a Mexican red knee tarantula. Tarantula. Okay. Some of the um, sea animals, which I'm gonna take them away. Um, we have a tarantula spider right here, which is a big one. Um, for this, this is actually like a reindeer. So we have quite a number of like deers and buffaloes and stuff like that. We can't put them into the um, exotic animals box because it is way too full. So what I'm doing is that, um, sorry, this is actually a bull moose. Not a, not a reindeer, I beg your pardon. So I'm actually putting this into the box, you know, along with the um, insects right over here, okay? Himalayan tar, okay? We can we can actually put this right here, but I will prefer to put all the different goats and, um, you know, sheep and stuff over here. You know, similarly to this, Texas longhorn bull, okay? All right, I'm gonna be putting here this here. Um, this is an ostrich. We have a nair wheel over here. Let's see what else we have. We have a centipede. Okay. A small little pangolin. And here we have a German shepherd. So previously I've shown you guys a German shepherd puppy. So this is an adult German shepherd. Very beautiful. A turkey. Okay. Turkey will go into the um, birds collection box as well. Similarly to this golden retriever, which is one of my most favorite um, breed, breed of dogs. They're extremely intelligent, extremely gentle. Yeah, I really love them. Such beautiful dogs. Um, this is a stack beetle. Okay, we have another primate, which is an orangutan. This is a butterfly, and um, it's actually known as a small tortoise shell butterfly wow very very cool i mean the name it it has and here we have a brown bear okay tasmanian devil tasmanian devil is actually um a wild animal native to australia what is this guys okay this is actually a um red leecher rex trilobite it is basically like a prehistoric um, sea animal. So it doesn't really belong to any of um, the boxes here, but I'm just putting it together with the insects. This is a new figure that we have just obtained. It is a token. Really, really beautiful. Okay, next we have a black sheep. This will definitely be part of um, the farm animals collection. And here we have a nanny goat. We can actually put this along with like the deers and the bulls, but I prefer to have it together with the farm animals. And here we have a cockatoo, I think. Yep, a cockatoo. Oh, this one is a one adorable looking pig. It is actually known as a Hungarian pig. They are actually very, very unique. They have like curly hair, which is so cool. And here we have a sloth. Okay, what is this bready poly day? What, what does that mean? I'm not too sure what, what, that, what that means. A couple of um, sea animals, let's bring them um, away. We have a rooster right over here. Okay, what is this? Artvok 
I think we got this figure like probably like late last year. So this one will definitely go into the um, exotic animals box. And what is this guys? Um, Siberian Husky if I'm not wrong. Let's take a look. Yep, Siberian Husky. And this is a new figure that we have just received. Okay, so no, we have just purchased ourselves. It's a blue-footed broody. Yeah, very, very cool. So, um, from what I've known is that this type of bird, they will actually try to walk in an exaggerated manner so that the female ones can actually take notice of their blue feet. Yeah, very, very cute and adorable. Um, here we have a cat and this is actually known as a... What is this known as? A Manx cat. Minx cat. Not too sure what exactly this is. I'm just calling this an antelope. <laughs> okay. Another golden retriever. A really beautiful one. Just take a look at those, um, you know, beautiful, lovely eyes. So adorable. This seems to be a blue shark. We have another ladybird over here. So into the um, insects box. Flamingo. Um, this is actually a Playmobil figure, but I'm putting it inside the birds collection. So we have a couple of um, flamingos. Okay. Pygmy Hippocast. Definitely going into the um, exotic animals. Okay, maybe exotic animals is not um, a, a right word to describe the box. Just wild animals, I guess. This is a bald eagle. Castle Wari. Okay, into the birds collection as well. So we have a Takara Tomi sloth. Very cute. It's like a baby sloth, I think. And here we have a... Persian cat. Yeah, very adorable looking cats. A panda. Into the wild animals box. I think this is a Boston Terrier if I'm not wrong. Yep, a Boston Terrier. Beautiful. Dogs. Some chicks over here. So into the um, farm animals collection. This is actually a um, red panda from Takara Tomi. So Takara Tomi figures will only go into the Takara Tomi box we have a billy goat i think this is a pelican um a bulldog this is a schnauzer okay and here we have a sheep i'm not exactly sure what is the breed or species of this sheep so i'm just calling it a sheep this is a giant poodle, I think. Yeah, a poodle. You can just call it a poodle, not a giant poodle. This is a border collie. Extremely um, fast, extremely intelligent. They are actually used to, like, you know, guard the sheep. Flamingo into this box. Okay, this little thing, I'm gonna put them aside first. Another high um, blue macaw. Oops. This is a cardinal. Okay, a reddish bird. Really beautiful colors. What is this? I can't remember this. So I think this is a bird of prey if I'm not wrong. And hingar. Yeah. This is definitely a bird of prey. Vulture. A koala. Okay. This is a phoenix rooster, a really beautiful one. Siamese cat, if I'm not wrong. Yep. Another panda. Another one. We have two red pandas over here. This is what is known as a um, Eastern Bat Bandicoot. All right. Armadillo. This is a um, bison. Yeah, bison. A really strong and powerful animal. With great strength. This is a saber antelope. So this one will definitely go into um, you know this box right over here. 
Red Widow, I think. Yep, a Red Widow. A small little wheel. This is known as an Ichidna. Okay. Mosquito. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And this is a Collie Puppy. Very adorable. This one, I think. It looks like a llama. Um, yeah, I think so. What is this? Beetle known as? Let's have a look. Rhinoceros beetle. Snowy hour. A cow? Probably a hoisting cow. Not exactly sure. A tapir. Okay, they can be found in like Southeast Asia. We have this figure for like a long time. Um, a tabby, a cat, I think. Great tabby, it's not grey, so I think the name is printed wrongly. It's a tabby cat for sure. We have a hen. Okay, a chicken. Black sheep, we have two similar figures. We both purchased the wrong one. I thought it was like a new one. We have a couple of um, flamingos. Okay. Beautiful flamingos. This, if I'm not wrong, it should be a Jack Russell Terrier. Yeah, it's a really beautiful one. Wow, it's a huge one. A cow. A bull. A buffalo. Okay, this one is actually from PNSO. Let me remove um, all these little sea animals first. We have a um, Americana chicken. I think they can lay eggs, which are blue in color, which is very, very unique. A mandrill and a baby. And another, what is this? Bantam hen. I think it's one of the smallest um, breed of chickens. This is a kangaroo from Takarotomi, so into the Takarotomi box. A Jack Russell Terrier. This seems to be a raven or a crow. Yeah, it's a raven. They're very intelligent birds. A collie. Alright. Beautiful dogs. Very, very elegant looking, I must say. Okay, let's move. Um, let's carry on. Chimpanzee. Scorpion. So I'm putting this um, along with other insects. Yep, the scorpion. Praying Mantis I have no idea what this is I'm just calling this like a ram We have a frog It's actually a red eye Tree frog So I'm putting this along with um, You know, the insects A bumber bee Yeah, I can see It's a huge one, a bumber bee Definitely into the um, insects box A small little wombat That is so cute Albatross we have two albatross, as you guys can see. Giant albatross. A fox. Yep. This should be a wolf. Let's see. Is there like a specific name for this? Trying to find... Um, nope. There isn't a name. A pig. A dog. I think this one should be the Grey Tabby. Yeah, this is the Grey Tabby as you guys can see. The name is actually written as Grey Tabby. The other one was printed wrongly. This is a Moscox. Yep. So I'm putting this along with the, you know, the buffaloes, the bulls, Red Widow. Okay. This is a pot ballad pig, so this is definitely into the um, farm animals collection. So this is a rabbit, okay, a rabbit, definitely in the farm animals. We got this um, kookaburra, kookaburra like um, quite recently, it's actually a um, yeah, 2017 figure. This I think uh, is a long eared owl, long eared owl, yes, that's correct. So, yep, the birds, chimpanzee, 
Let me see. Okay, this is actually from Shlack, I think. The face. The face is not like very nicely done, I would say. It can be done much better. This is basically just known as a duck, but I'm pretty sure there is like a name for it. And it definitely looks like a Mandarin duck. Pandar. A sea animal. More pandas. We have plenty of pandas, I think. Small little kangaroo from Takara told me. This is known as a macaw, okay, a red one. No idea what is a penguin doing here. Definitely need to put this into um, the sea animals collection. Small little piglet. Yep, a piglet. Cute. Um, a goat, a billy goat. Putting this with the farm animals. This is known as a dashon, dashun, dashun. I think I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. Dashun, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a Tasmanian devil. French bulldog, I think. A bulldog. This is a boxer. Yeah, very cool. Chimpanzee. Red panda. We have a grasshopper. So this one will definitely go into the um, insects collection. Oh, we got this from like Robo Life. It's actually like a movable. Can check this out, guys. Can actually move, but maybe not on the um, carpet. If you put it on your hand, um, it can actually vibrate. Okay, um, I don't have a box, you know, to show you guys, but yeah, it's basically like a moving cockroach, kind of cool. Lemur. Okay. This it's a white tail bug. Okay, nice. You can see the antlers. They actually change their antlers like every year. Spanish bull, okay. This seems to be a dimension puppy. I think so. A wolf, a cow. Did I put a wolf? No, no I think I put them in the right place. All the sea animals, I just have to like you know take them away. Small little red pandar from Takara told me. A monarch butterfly. Really beautiful one, I must say. This is a Labrador retriever. Yep. Really beautiful. Labrador. Um, a kangaroo with a baby can kangaroo in his pouch, which is known as a joey. A frog. I have no idea what is the exact name for this frog. We have a um, sloth. Okay, this is actually a new Takara Tomi um, figure. So into the Takara Tomi box. It seems to be a Siamese cat. Yes, it is. A white buffalo. I'm putting this along with um, you know, the uh, insects and some of the um, Deers and stuff. This is our yellow footed rock. Yellow footed rock wallaby. Right, you're almost done. Um, Hampshire pig. Yep, that's right. A mandrill. This is the Lot House Island in stick insect. Yes, yeah, so a stick insect, basically. Cool, very cool figure. This it's a I'm not too sure what the, what is this, I can't remember. Harpy Eagle. Nice. This it's a Let Beatles Possum. Yeah, we got this figure in our collection like recently as well. Giant Anteater. I've seen them before, they are really huge. Much larger than um, what I expected them to be. Proboscis monkey. 
Okay. And speaking of proboscis monkey, do I have it in my collection of Takaratomi? I don't think so. I mean, if you guys know, let me know down below, okay? Kangaroo. Oh, we do have! It's right here, guys. Proboscis monkey from Takaratomi. Yes, yeah, it's a new figure. I've totally forgotten that we, we have this figure. Couple of um, sea animals. It's a lorikeet, I think. Um, yeah, it's a lorikeet. Very, very beautiful. I love the colors. A buffalo, I think. No, I'm probably not a buffalo. Hmm. Should be a buffalo. A bilby. A Takara told me. Hippopotamus, really beautiful one. You can see the mouth can be open wide open. It's really cool. And our last one is actually what is this? A meerkat? I think so. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. It's basically me just trying to tidy up my collection because some of my Takara told me figurines were actually inside different boxes so it's kind of like annoying for me so i'm just trying to you know tidy them up and at the same time make a video for you guys okay so thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye